Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I want to thank Jujude for shouting this out, but there are six new RTX maps. So let's check out these maps and see what they look like. Okay, so the first map we're loading into here is the Dark Forest. I tried putting it in creative mode, but it looks like we are in survival. Oh, and we have a zombie hitting us right off the bat. I'm just gonna run away. Um, we have 2986. It's like this way somewhere. Got a, a nice statue here. I mean, torches are still pretty dim looking, I think. What is this block? That's a redstone lamp, okay. Um, I guess it puts out like a redder light, but it might just be the texture to give it. I don't know if the light output is actually any different. Looks like... I don't know. I don't know if these are still putting out light. I can't tell if it's just a bright block or if it's actually putting out a little bit. What are these? Glowstone, okay. Glowstone's not as bright as I thought it'd be, honestly. Like the sea lanterns, I'm assuming. Here. Yeah, sea lanterns are way brighter. Okay. Well, I mean, it doesn't look like this pack is much different from the other ones. Like, the water here looks pretty much the same. Um, the kind of the light values are respectively the same, it's just a different texture. Sea lanterns being great for lighting stuff up. Torches being eh. Um, so I mean, I'm not going to waste too much time going through this. If you guys want me to do like a full playthrough of one of these maps, just let me know. But I am going to move on to map number two. Okay, so we are loading into the egg hunt map. Um, could not get this one in creative mode either. So let's see. Punch egg to start game. Good luck. So I guess it's just kind of like a mini game. Um, lighting looks the same, I think. It looks a little more lit, so I don't know if it's just coming from these redstone lamps or what. But we can, I guess, try this out real quick, see what's about. pretty cool. I don't really play any adventure maps, so this reminds me of the servers I used to play on in the Java edition. It's pretty dark. Yeah, lanterns aren't very bright. I don't have any idea what I'm looking for. They say there's 100 of them, so I wonder how big this map is. I mean, they've definitely put quite a bit of effort into this. It looks pretty cool. But, I mean, they've put a lot of effort into all these maps. There's no doubt about that. Um, I have no idea where an egg would be. That's pretty cool. Oh. Hello. All right. 1% of the way there. This is cool. I'm surprised they didn't turn off clouds. Um, for this one. Because it's kind of just going through the middle of their build, but maybe that's out of their control. Maybe that's my settings. I don't know. Definitely looks cool. Doesn't look any different from what we've seen, I don't think. But I think I'm going to call it here and we're going to move on to the next map. Okay, so I just booted up the Hilltop Survival map. 
and first impressions are pretty cool. I really like how they have a light directly over the book. You can even see the pages of the book, which is really cool. And they expect that level of detail. Um, I guess we should read the book. Old Top Survival. So yeah, I think it's just another kind of showcase of what RTX can do. Gave you a little starter kit here. I don't know why I can't put any of these games in creative mode. I could on the last set of maps, but pretty cool. I don't get down. There's stairs in here? Oh, okay. No, no, I was walking around a little bit. Check out if there's anything that's new. Um, but it looks like lanterns, not very bright, torches. Uh, that's a pretty cool lighting trick. Kind of softens the light. Ooh, I like that dark decoration as well. If anything, we've got some tips for our Let's Play world. Uh, okay. I'm just going to ignore him. I wonder the aura shine in uh, this one. It doesn't look like it, but it might just be too bright. <laughs> I feel like the aura shining was something special with just the crystal palace pack to make it feel more magical. A little more uh, enchanting, if you will. Yeah, looks like they don't have any shine to them. Oh well, I'm going to keep playing our world where it's nice and shiny so we can't miss a single one. This is cool. Looks like all the light values are the same as we've been seeing. Um, just the different techniques you can use to, I guess, hide the light but still illuminate stuff or soften the light. Uh, it's pretty cool to see all that. Yep, these are just normal iron ores, it looks like. Cool, cool. Well, I'm going to call it here and move on to the next map. Okay, loading into the medieval map. Alright, starting at nighttime. Still in survival. They've used a lot of. I think these are redstone lanterns, I would assume. Yeah, redstone lanterns. I mean, they look almost identical to the default pack. I don't know why I had to check. This is kind of what I thought when I first saw the ray tracing pack, that these yellow lights made things more medieval, and I think that's kind of the vibe they got as well, because that's all they're using in this medieval world. Surprisingly, I don't see any torches though. I think outside the house, there are probably torches in there. Yep. Okay, there we go. Seems like you put the torches outside, you know. Don't want to set your house on fire if there's a real fire from the torch, but uh... Yes, not. Nah, that's interesting. I like, kind of made a uh, foundry here, but instead of lava, they put a torch. Wonder why that was. Maybe I'm misunderstanding what they're trying to build. Come on. run around this town a little bit longer, but I don't see anything really catching my eye, anything too spectacularly different. Looks like it's just a normal world out there. Dark world. Kind of shiny leaves. Um, I mean, I guess some leaves are shiny, but I don't know they're that shiny. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like the lighting on this block looks a little weird. There's like some shadows right here when I feel like the texture is not really blocking it. It's kind of a hard shadow. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This looks cool. 
Yes. I am all about tech radiant lava and RTX. That is awesome. Broken nether portal. Okay, okay. Seems like a pretty cool spot to end this world. Let's move on to the next one. Okay, we are loading into the observer. Um, sounds like a game map again, kind of like the egg one, if I had to guess. But I guess we will find out. It's the longest one to load. So, yeah. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> I'll skip to once we're actually in the game. All right, so we loaded into the game. These textures look very high quality, I want to say. It's like they didn't use a normal texture pack. Like if you ever played Java and installed a, like a 512 by 512 texture pack, that's what these look like. It's actually really cool. Especially ray tracing, that is, that is so cool. What is this? What? Is that a piece of glass? What am I looking at? We we might spend a decent amount of time on this map because it is so different. Right now I am loving this. Oh, I wish I could see what its blocks are. If we could somehow get this texture pack in a survival world, that would be insane. Maybe that's the, the point of the map. The name is Observer for a reason. You're not actually supposed to do anything. Look at that. It's like trippy. I don't even know what's happening. I could fall down, but I don't want to do that yet. Let's, uh, I guess, check out this chest. Cake. Is the cake a lie? <laughs> Looks like we got a lot of lore here I'm not going to read. If you want me to actually play through the map, let me down, know down below in the comments. But I really just want to keep looking at these textures because they are mesmerizing how detailed they are. We got some parkour here, is that what that is? Oh man. What? This has to be a glass distorting the view. It has to be what that is. That is so cool. Whoa. Oh, is there a normal world? Oh, if we can somehow get this to let us out and we can play like normal survival. Oh, no, but the normal textures aren't high quality like everything else. And you can see that dirt over there is just normal dirt. Snow looks a little different, I think. Maybe. Maybe not. It looks kind of pixely. What a tease. I'll probably end up playing through this map anyway, but if you guys want me to record it, let me know down in the comments. But this was the last one we had to check out. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like. If you feel like I earned it, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.